So Pokemon Go has exploded recently, and by exploded, I mean like nuclear bomb exploded, neutron star supernova exploded. I mean like tens of millions of players jumped on the second it was available in its first country, causing the servers to crash almost immediately. That is the level we're talking about of how popular this game has gotten. Nintendo most definitely needed this. People say that the Wii U was doing well and then NX would net them more money, but you can tell from the fact that in, after the first day of Pokemon Go, their shares went up 10%. That just says a lot as to how much Pokemon Go will mean for Nintendo and will help make them a household name again. Now, personally, I love the concept of Pokemon Go. I've played every single Pokemon game since Generation 1. I've played none of the spin-off games, but I have always wanted, like every other kid who played Pokemon, to have a virtual world where Pokemon could be caught in real life. And now that that's here, me, along with every other person my age who played the original Pokemon games, and every kid who wanted that, because let's be honest, kids are the ones who really want that, gets to live that. Now in saying that, I want to talk today about why Pokemon Go has gotten as big as it's gotten. It's gotten so, so popular. It's ridiculous. It's, it's the new Android trend, and there's been a lot of them. In my opinion, it's the biggest one so far, like bigger than Flappy Bird, bigger than those weird tile games that were a thing for a while, I don't know. But in saying that, the first reason was the reason I already mentioned, the diehard Pokemon fans who've played every single generation. I think it's good for those people, because although I'm not much of an introvert, I know a lot of Pokemon players who are introverts, and they wouldn't leave the house as much, but because of Pokemon Go, they feel an obligation to leave the house more and get some more fresh air, and generally catch rare Pokemon, so it's generally a good thing for them. For those guys, downloading Pokemon Go is an obvious choice, because they spent their entire lives loving Pokemon, so something as good as Pokemon Go, where they get to live out a dream that they wanted with Pokemon, is generally a, a deal closer. As well as that, there's a lot of kids who are playing this game, which is, which com which is fair enough, it's completely designed for kids, it's, it's good for kids, because it makes them leave the house more and travel around and generally hang around with friends a bit more who are also playing the game. I think it's very, very good for kids, and to be honest, of course kids are going to play. I mean, if a kid likes Pokemon, you, you could slap anything on it. So even if Pokemon Go was bad when it came out, kids would have still bought the game because it's a Pokemon game. It could have been really buggy, really shitty, and you could catch like 10 Pokemon, and kids would still buy that shit. But despite that, the game is good, so adults are also into it. Now, in saying that, I think the biggest demographic who joined this is what, what a lot of older Pokemon players tend to call Gen 1ers, which are people who played the first generation or two of Pokemon, and they generally kind of cut off after that point because they didn't like it as much anymore. They grew up, they went on to do other things. Those guys came back mainly because only Generation 1 Pokemon are in this game. That was a really smart move from Niantic or Game Freak or Nintendo or anybody who made that choice. It was a very intelligent choice doing that because it very much includes the people who only like Gen 1 Pokemon and makes it so they can have their own game and do their own thing while keeping the newer players who like the game just as much happy. Now the final people who are playing this game are people who, to my surprise, have never played a Pokemon game in their life. They just like the concept. I kind of get it, like, if it's still a cool concept catching, like, hypothetical monsters in the real world whilst walking and getting fresh air or going for coffee or doing really anything, it's still a cool thing to do. Not to mention, if all your friends are playing it, it's a very good social thing to have. So if you have never played Pokemon, it's actually not a bad entry point for Pokemon, because it, it's very much, it might lead a lot of players to try the older Pokemon games again. It actually might be a good opener for newer players. They may also like the fact that it's a free to play game, because this game is completely free. There is no side add-ons. There is nothing you have to buy or spend 10 hours waiting for in this game. You can get pretty much everything you need to play the game properly for free. It's actually really convenient and it makes me question how the fuck they're making money off this. But despite that, it is a really good way because even if you don't like the game, people are downloading and playing it occasionally because it's something to do and because it's completely free. There is no downside for downloading this game because it's completely free and you can uninstall it whenever you want. Now I'm saying that Pokemon Go will probably be a trend. I'm not gonna lie. People who like Pokemon, as in people who played all the older games, will probably keep playing it for a very long time. But the people who like it because it's a trend and people who like it who never really play Pokemon, they'll get bored of it. They'll stop playing after after a month or two and it'll I think the numbers will wane quite a bit. But in saying that, I think the numbers will always be very, very large. Because at the end of the day, it's Pokemon. And I already said you could slap Pokemon into any shitty spin-off 
and I swear to God it would sell. Anyway, I know this, I know I don't make many videos about passing trends and mobile stuff, but I felt like this was necessary because everybody seems to be giving their two cents on this and I felt like I wanted to give my own opinion on this. Now, if you've been playing Pokemon Go, tell me your experiences in the comments. If you haven't and you generally do not give a shit, then fair enough, because this is probably the only video I'm ever going to make about Pokemon Go. I'm not going to be like constantly making update videos about it. I'm going to make one video talking about why it got so big, and then I'm probably never going to talk about it again. All right, in saying that, I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. And I swear to God, if you catch a Jatini and I don't, I'm actually going to track you down and kill you and then steal your phone. Because I fucking want one. Dragonite is my favorite Pokemon. I'm never going to get one. Oh, anyway, I'll see you next time and have a nice day.